How's it going? Just wanted to go live for a bit here and reach out to everyone that might be uh, quarantined at the moment during this pandemic and wanted to discuss a little bit what it's like to uh, have an autoimmune disease during these kind of crazy times with this pandemic, what people are doing, what people are eating, uh, how they're kind of navigating through all this. Um, hi, Heather. Um, I just want to also answer questions that uh, um, people have. I, I get a lot of questions emailed to me a lot, and a lot of times I don't have time to answer them, but I'm quarantined so uh, or shut down in here in California, so it's tough to really do much, much else. So any questions that people have uh, or just want to generally discuss um, any topics of health, ME, or what's going on? I thought I would talk for a couple minutes on here and uh, chat with people. Um, I'm just reading some of these comments. Uh, I haven't I haven't been on that before. Um, I haven't tried it. I'm gonna look into it though, Heather. I always like reading and researching new things. Um, I've been on a pretty consistent regimen um, of LDN for years now, probiotics that I alternate from time to time. Um, try to get as much natural vitamin D as I can. And uh, those things have worked for me quite a bit. Um, I ran into issues, you know, with, uh, I had E. coli um, a year or two ago, a year and a half ago, and I got really sick for a while. That's why I wasn't on here for a long time. But uh, I'm glad it works for you. Um, that's awesome that it's it's working. I definitely want to check it out. Um, but yeah, mainly LDN for me. Um, Heather, have you tried LDN? Is that something you've tried? I don't know where you are in the world. Um, I know it's easier to get in the U S and some other places. Um, but as far as this pandemic, I kind of want to see what other people are doing, um, since we are high risk. Uh, but there are some people with ME that have, uh, a lot of resistance to viruses. I've heard of some people with ME that they don't catch viruses ever. It seems like their immune systems in overdrive in regards to that. Um, for me though, I get really sick with viruses and things like that. Um, I'm going to keep this live short. Um, um, I actually, RH negative, not sure what that means. Um, but I, I am going to keep this short. I'm going to do more lives as I'm locked down here and kind of just getting cabin fever. Um, but I, I'm going to probably set up a time so more people will hop on and they can um, kind of interact with the community uh, during this time. And... See if we can all get some uh, positive information uh, spread through the community. Uh, I, I haven't stopped really to think of the impact we're having on uh, but We'll see. So I'll set up a time and up here, and hopefully more people will jump in and we'll try a little bit more. Um, personally, I'm going to share what I've done during this whole pandemic, and it's all been social distancing. I've been as far away from people as I can. And uh, I think that everyone with ME should do the same. And I think there's a lot of, there's a lot of misinformation out there. Um, and I think that uh, there's some dangerous information out there. There is definitely some hysteria out there. But there's also a lot people need to know. And it, it is, this is, this illness is not a, uh, uh, as far as COVID-19, it's not another flu. Uh, it's actually a lot more deadly than the flu. Uh, the complication rate's a lot higher. And I, I think people with ME out there should be really, really careful. And especially if you're older and have other conditions on top of ME, I think you need to be really, really careful. Stay as far away as you can from people. Keep in mind that you can spread this 14 days before you show symptoms. And uh, that means that people that look fine, uh, they might come over to your house and give them a hug and a kiss and they're still contagious. Um, so I think it's it's very important to uh, remember that healthy looking people are, are spreading this, mainly the young. There's a lot of kids that are asymptomatic. Thank God that kids aren't really getting sick from this. And they're they're spreading it to elderly people and people with underlying conditions. So stay safe out there. Um, keep them as far away as you can from people. Wash your hands. Also, remember, it's airborne. So try to not be in public places if you don't have to um, and, and be careful.
So Jennifer, it looks like it's helped you a great deal. High dose, uh, looks like I'm trying to read, I can barely see, don't have my glasses. Uh, but yes, look up LDN, uh, it's helped a lot of people. It doesn't help everybody. Uh, a lot of studies show it helps about 30 to 40% of people who hop on LDN and try it. Um, yeah, but the people that it works for, it seems to do uh, quite well with pain, uh, fatigue, uh, some people sleep better, um, some people don't. It kind of affects everyone a little bit differently, but um, I am part of support groups that are really big on LDN, and they a lot of people swear by it. They'll take it the rest of their lives. And then I also know some people that have taken LDN, and it didn't do anything. So um, it, I think it's worth a try if you talk to your doctor um, and do it the right way. Go to a uh, compounding pharmacy and, and kind of do everything the right way. But um, I'm eager to do another live again. I'm going to try to set it up where um, more people can be on and kind of get everyone talking. I, I really want to get the ME community to talk more outside of just Facebook and, and uh, other social uh, media. I just want communication to be happening a lot. Um, and uh, that's, that's how people stay safe. And that's how people learn about, about new things. So I'm actually curious, I'm reading the comments here and, and uh, it, it looks like uh, a lot of people are having success and with other uh, pain management and things like that. So I'm always stoked to try something new and love to hear that people are, are um, trying new things and that it's working. Um, Heather, any side effects with that at all? Or are you just seeing that it's benefited you a lot? That's one thing I'm curious about. Um, a lot of times with medicines, like even LDN, a lot of people don't have side effects, but um, some people do. And I, when I first started taking it, I had really, really bad insomnia. It caused a lot of insomnia. I just pushed through it. And then I noticed that eased up and actually started helping my sleep. So um, no side effects for you. That's good. That's really good. Um, anytime you can try a medicine that helps and doesn't have side effects, it's like everything out there that you try, it's got these terrible side effects. It's kind of a give and take. Um, anyways, I wanted to check in with everybody. I, I know some people that I've become close with through – YouTube and, and social media and support groups, they wondered where I'm at because I just kind of disappeared. Um, so I wanted to just do a quick video to check in, say hi to everybody. Um, I hope everyone's doing well, staying healthy, uh, practicing social distancing, washing your hands. And um, I will set up another live and I'm going to um, set up a schedule so people know when I'm going to do it. At this time, I just kind of randomly popped on. I'm sitting in my house and I figured it was a good time to do it. So I'm going to schedule one. Look out for that. I really would love to have more communication with everybody. Um, Heather, thanks for um, the information. And Jennifer as well. I'm going to look those things up uh, right after I log off here. But I'm going to end the stream for now and have some dinner. And uh, thank you for welcoming me back. Uh, I hope you're doing well. I'm going to come back soon. Like I said, I'll schedule a time. Uh, a lot of people that subscribe from the UK, and it's like 2 in the morning over there right now. Um, so I'd like to schedule it during a time where they can participate as well. So please stay safe, stay healthy. God bless. And, um, thanks for the information that you guys posted in the comments. I appreciate it. I'm actually gonna look it up right now. God bless. Take care.